Uh, my name is Jan Simpson. I'm the national president of the Canadian Union of Postal Workers. So the best way I feel to understand the needs of Black workers is to listen to them. And you need to believe our lived experiences. There's working while Black, there's sleeping while Black, there's that grocery shopping while Black, jogging while Black, bird watching while Black. I think we all get the picture. We need to promote and distribute the health reports that demonstrate that racism shortens lifespans. It causes health disparities of high blood pressure, uh, diabetes, mental health issues, to name a few. We need to make it a health and safety issue for the bargaining table to adopt the measures necessary to end anti-Black racism. The CLC, you had a National Anti-Racism Task Force, I think that was back in the 1997, and you uh, produced a report called Going Beyond the Recommendation. We, we need to know like what was effective from the recommendations within the labor movement, where is the data, and what has changed, and what is left undone. Is there a plan for us to update and campaign to address the current economic, social, and political climate, as well as an analysis of what was missing, um, what barriers prevented progress, and what is the plan to overcome these barriers? You know, if we don't understand the needs of Black workers after the murder of George Floyd, the pandemic that highlighted the disproportionate um, negative effect on Black workers, the growth of white supremacist hate groups, there's been many reports, all the anti-racism work and the Black workers have fought for over the decades to gain the access that we deserve in positions of authority within the workplace and within our unions, then I think we need to ask the question that James Baldwin, uh, nearing the end of his life in mid 1980s asked, you have always told me it takes time. It has taken my father's time, my mother's time, my uncle's time, my brother's and my sister's time my niece and my nephew's time. How much time do you want for your progress? I would also add, how much time do you want for your progress at black people's expense? In other words, we keep being asked the same questions over and over that we answer to complete silence. The lens needs to be turned around for our white comrades to integrate and examine the white supremacy within their structures how they are complicit in, it, in upholding it. And then let's have a conversation about developing an action plan to dismantle systemic racism. Are we ready for that conversation? It's the real question knowing that this is long haul work.